Morning, trainers. I'm back again with another video. Back again with another video. Back, back, back again with another video. So, we see this gorgeous and handsome face. Might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info. So, in today's video, uh, we're gonna be talking about the newest Pokemon and the newest shinies that are coming to the world of Pokemon Go. Uh, I know I've been miss missing out of action, uh, you know, making videos and everything like that, but you know, life happens and everything else. So, Sometimes YouTubers can't, you know, really upload like you guys, you know, would regularly like, you know. But I mean, like I say, if you rock with, you know, no matter what YouTuber that you follow, whoever you rock with, stay subscribed because, you know, you never know when they'll upload that next video, you know. And that's just the way life is sometimes, you know. But, uh, if, yeah, like I said, uh, with that being said, guys, um, like I said, we're going to talk about the newest Shinies and the newest Pokemon that are coming to the world of Pokemon Go. Uh, I'm, I also made some tweaks to my intros and outros because some things happened to my original intro and outros, but I'm kind of glad it did because it uh, allowed me to um, add some, like I said, like some tweaks to my intros and outros. So, I'm got, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that, my tweaks to my in new intros and outros. Like I said, I hope you enjoy that, uh, and I hope you enjoy this video, and like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay subscribed, like I said, to any YouTuber that you follow. Uh, well, at least I hope you do. But anyway, with that being said, guys, enough talk because I know you want to get to the video. So, guys, with that being said, oh, also make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and anything uh, that you want to know about the video. I usually put it in the in the description. So make sure you go ahead and uh, check out the description below. Everything will be in there from the music and everything like that. I also tweak the music to my intros and outros too. So make sure you uh, check that out. And I hope you enjoy everything about this video because, guys, it took me a while. It actually took me two days to put this together. Um, so yeah, or two days plus. Anyway, that's why I haven't been uploading also. But anyway, guys, it's been about, what, over two minutes now? So guys, I know you want me to get into the videos now, so that's what we're going to do. So guys, with that being said, we're not going to jump into this video now, but we're going to jump into this video right now. Let's go. Uh, uh, like I said, Pokemon Go basically an announced Frillish is coming at 4 p.m. today. Um, uh, starting today at 1 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 4 o'clock today. So that's the new Pokemon Frillish and Jellicent. Um, and it's it's the second half of Go Battle League Season 6. So most people I know don't really worry about Go Battle League, such as myself. I don't really worry about Go Battle League. Um... But if you do, this is a way to get jealous. In. But also, the reason why I think Niantic is doing this is because they know a lot of people don't really bother with Go Battle League. Uh, I know Mystic Seven don't battle with, uh, don't worry about Go Battle League too much, and Transit. I'm not really that sure either. But, um, but yeah, a lot of people don't, such as myself and other people. But this is a way for Niantic to actually uh, get people to to get involved in Go Battle League and all the cups that they have and everything like that. Kind of like with the Team Rocket, you know, nobody's really bothered with the Team Rocket leaders until they come out with Shadow Shinies, then everybody wants to battle with Team Rocket, you know. So, Niantic sees that, they see how the game is, they see how their game moves, you know, and that's how they make money off of us, and then this is how they also uh, make people take part in certain things that they add to their game. So, guys, with that being said, let's get into more of this video. All right, so basically here it says Frillish will be able to be encountered by those who have hit rank 20 in Go Battle League. So you got to be rank 20 in order to get Frillish. Um, uh, when first hitting the, that rank, it will be a guaranteed first encounter. It will remain as a reward for higher ranks, uh, which is great to know considering there are two versions of this Pokemon uh, that trainers will want to collect. So uh, Frillish is a duel in water and ghost type Pokemon from the Unifor region. Uh, it's a Gen 5 Pokemon. Uh, which many trainers expected to debut during last year's Halloween event, which I thought so too because it's a ghost type and ghost types it makes sense to debut in 
Halloween events, especially for the new Pokemon. But with that said, it says that didn't end up happening. Uh, it takes on the role of Scraggy and Rufflet before it it's as an least to start Go Battle League exclusive encounter. So anyhow, Frillish evolves into Jellicent, like I mentioned earlier, which also has a blue and pink gender-based variant. So basically, one is a male, one's a female. The pink one's obviously a female, and the blue one's actually a male. Uh, the shinies look really cool. I'll put that up on screen. Um, it says this leaves few remaining species from the universe region that have not yet been added to Pokemon Go. Because uh, a lot of people are saying that Niantic aren't adding certain Pokemon. That's why you should get the tickets for the cancel. Because there's Pokemon that's uh, basically coming new as they're, sh um, they're having their shiny uh, 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 releases uh, come out on February 20th. So you want to take part in that. Uh, but also don't forget the rest of those Pokemon can be shiny. And a lot of people have a... Like, have tons of trouble encountering those shiny pokemon so hopefully this is your time for those people that want to know is niantic boosting up the shiny rate the answer is yes um they are boosting the shiny rate and that's that's guaranteed like like i i've read that somewhere uh i'll see if i can put it up on screen um back because i can't really think right now just where i actually got it from but yeah i'll put it up on screen uh also the current list of generation five species that will uh that people are still waiting on uh are muma marshana or marshan masharma masharma however it goes psychic they, it's a psychic type pokemon it's a rua zoroark it's a dark type tynamo electric electros electric type mind food mian chow fighting types dragons a dragon type and larvesta and volcarona is fire type they miss spell a lot of these words anyway uh, for those bummed out that Frillish won't be a wild encounter, keep in mind that previous Go Battle League exclusives have been made available in other ways. Kind of like with Scraggy. Scraggy was actually made available in this past event for the Unova event, which uh, Scraggy was out in the wild, and but it made its debut in Go Battle League. So, just want to let you guys know that too. Um, now, it says Rufflet was later added into Rage for its shiny release. So, oh, also, uh, Rufflet, if you don't know... It, uh, like you said, it has a shiny release that, that's out now. So, we're going to jump into this until we, uh, so we can get into the other part of the this video. So, stay tuned. Because there's a lot more news ahead. So, stay tuned. Alright, so, it says the Great League will run from Monday, January the 11th, which is today, at 1 p.m., which is 4 o'clock, to Monday, January 25th, at 1 p.m. PST. Now, don't forget that... This has already started in other places around the world. Uh, the Ultra League and its Premier Cup will run from Monday, January 25th at 1 p.m. to Monday, February 8th at 1 p.m. PST. The Master League, its Premier Cup, Master League Classic, and to be announced, Special Cup will run from Monday, February 8th at 1 p.m. to Monday, February 15th at 1 p.m. PST. I believe I made an announcement video about this a while back, but anyway, I'm going back over it. Uh, so basically, all three leagues and the Ultra League Premier Cup will run from Monday, February 15th at 1 p.m. to Monday, February 22nd at 1 p.m. The Cancel Cup will run from Monday, February 2nd at 1 p.m. to Monday, March 1st at 1 p.m. PST. Now, the CP limit for this cup will be 1500, and only Pokemon with a Pokedex number between 001 and 151 will be allowed. During this period, your rating will be unaffected. Now, at rank 19, you'll receive an Elite Charge TM. You'll also receive an Elite Fast TM as an end-of-season reward if you reach rank 19. So, when you reach this, you'll get an Elite Charge TM and a fast uh, Elite Fast TM. So, that's pretty cool. Um, but, don't forget, you have to be rank 20 to uh, encounter Frillish. And, hopefully, you'll get enough candy to evolve into its evolved form, which is Jellison. Which, I think, is a pretty cool Pokemon. Like I said, it's a Ghost type. We don't really like Ghost type Pokemon. Ghost type Pokemon are pretty strong. So, as far as it being a really good Pokemon in, in Pokemon Go, it's pretty decent because it's a dual type. And any dual type Pokemon pretty much is uh, pretty good because it's a water and ghost type. Uh, it can learn all kinds of water type moves like Hydro Pump. Uh, it can learn Shadow Ball because of the ghost typing and everything like that. So, that's a Pokemon that you really want to, you know, use in battle. And uh, as far as, like, its defense and uh, its attack power, I'll also put that up on screen also so you can uh, see about that. Uh, in case you're wondering so 
Or I'll just put the link in the description so you guys can check that out. So make sure you check that out also. Uh, or I'll probably just go ahead and just do both. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's get into more of this news. All right, trainers. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shiny Pikachu Libre. And it comes to Pokemon Go. In fact, it's already in Pokemon Go now. If you don't know, now you know. So, anyway, unlocking the red version of Pikachu Libre is extremely difficult. Not only because of the amount of work it takes to reach the encounter, but you only have one shot to do it. So, taking this task on is only for the most dedicated trainer. So, we're going to basically be talking about how you can get it, where you can get it. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into that. Alright, so how to catch shiny Pikachu Libre in Pokemon Go. So Pikachu Libre is a reward for reaching the very last rank during Battle League Season 6. Now, however, unlike previous iterations, ranks have now been raised from 10 through 24. Getting 20 is fairly easy as long as you participate, but it's the final four that will offer up a challenge. So that's the one you need to get to in order to encounter Pikachu Libre. Shiny Pikachu Libre. All right, so these are the steps. So step one, enter the Battle League Season 6 in Pokemon Go. Step two, get through rank one through 20, which can be achieved by participating in battles and securing wins. Step three, rank 20 through 24 can only be reached by securing a rating. Reach legend status with 3,000 points to hit 24. And step four, once you hit 24, you will get a spawn encounter with Pikachu Libre, which has a chance to be shiny. Good luck catching it. Now, it's not guaranteed, but it can be shiny so you can do this as many times as possible but this is why it's extremely hard to actually do so so if you get it on your first time on your first encounter then congrats to you if not just keep trying until you get it but yeah this is something that you if, if you're like a pikachu person or like a costume person or just just a shiny type person like who likes to catch shiny stuff like this or likes a challenge just in general then this is something that you want to take up um me not so per not so much because it's like it's not really such a big deal for me because I mean at some point it's gonna be like in a raid or something like that later on down the line just like they did with um, Scraggy so I mean any Pokemon that's usually in go battle league is usually gonna be out in the wild or in a raid or something like that or in a research or quest or something like that so but anyway if this is something that you want to do then I say go for it so it says unfortunately there is no easy way around this and reaching rank 24 will take a lot of work not only that, but you aren't even guaranteed a shiny Pikachu Libre. Like I said, it's not guaranteed and only have one shot to catch it all season. Oh, so you only have one shot to, to so it's not like back and forth, so it's just one time. Anyway, making the stakes all the more higher. So good thing I did read that part. So you, you only have one time to, 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 you know, try to catch it. So if, if you have, uh, if once you encounter it, of course you're going to go for the catch, whether it's shiny or not. But you only have that one time. So keep that in, in mind. Because I didn't even know that. Uh, anyway, many trainers will no doubt undertake the challenge. As according to Sarah B. Joe's Merrick, the special Pikachu is a first for the series. Although the further clarified it can't be transferred to home or sword or shield. So you can't transfer it uh, to home, sword, or shield. So uh, that's enough talk about uh, shiny, shiny Lucha Pika Libre. or you know, cause, But it is in, in the game right now. Um, it's near matter of fact. It's after a little after four o'clock now. It's like 401. So Jellicent and Frillish is now in officially in Pokemon Go. It's been in Pokemon Go uh, In other parts of the world like I stated in the beginning of this video um, But yeah, now we're gonna go into Another part of this video. So stay tuned All right trainer, so basically uh, Niantic was mentioning something with the uh, the Kanto tour if you purchase a ticket you'll see uh, trainers uh, avatars that's like around the world whatever and or your avatar because they have a contest that you can participate in and hopefully you'll see your avatar or someone else's avatar it'll play as a trainer like in the um, the mainstream games like you know Pokemon red Pokemon blue stuff like that and you know how you saw like the trainers like bug catchers and jugglers and stuff like that but well, that's what Niantic is doing now, and as you can see, um, that's what's going to be happening. So you're going to be able to see other trainers uh, standing right there being as, like, well, you can encounter them and actually start battling them. So that basically, that's what it is. 
um so yeah like you see in this picture here you're gonna see it like that right now they're holding a contest uh i think the contest is pretty much over with now but um yeah i just want to let you know that that was going on if it is still going on like I'm, i'll put a link in the description also you could check it out uh if you didn't know, already know but i believe that today is the last day for it or i think maybe it's already done but anyway um you have to purchase the uh cancel tour ticket in order to um take part in this contest uh or something like that i believe but yeah anyway it's it's still for the 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 cancel tour event but that's basically uh what is going to be happening so if you want to take part in this uh there's all kinds of rules and everything like that you got to follow in order to uh take advantage of this opportunity to become uh, um a trainer that could be on the map will have your avatar on the map um and you follow that and then follow all the steps and everything like that like i said i'll put it in the description below and you can follow that but again not sure if it's over or not but i'll still put it in the description below so you can check it out um so yeah i just want to let you know and bring that to your you know to your knowledge and so you can know what's going on but make sure you go ahead and check that out if this is something that you would like to take part in all right so now before before I end up this video, I have actually two more updates to talk about uh, before I wrap this video up. So guys, stay tuned. All right, trainers. So basically now we're uh, talking about a data mining report from PokemonGoHub.net. So basically now Niantic is working on something where uh, mythical and legendary mass transfers can happen. Also, they're going to start working on egg transparency and more, which means... We'll be able to see what's inside the eggs before we're actually hatching them. Uh, they're going to be giving us selections of Pokemon that can be in those eggs. Like, let's say, uh, Feral Seed is usually in 10 kilometer eggs, or Shinx is in 10 kilometer eggs, you know, something like that. And you can actually, uh, they'll put like a screen up of what po what possible Pokemon can be in that inside the egg. And I think that's pretty cool because people don't have the money to be hatching. And plus, they, I'm, they're also doing this because of the COVID. Uh, or the virus i don't want to get you know demonetized so i'll just say virus uh anyway um so basically if, if you can walk around if you're not on lockdown or have to quarantine you go outside of course you wear your mask don't forget to wear your mask and uh you could you already have an idea of what you're gonna hatch uh now as far as it telling you whether it's gonna be shiny or not i, I don't know but if you can see inside the egg then pretty much they'll let you know whether it's gonna be shiny or not so if that's how if that's how it's working uh then that'd be pretty cool but we're going to talk about that because that's actually uh being spoken about uh, a little bit down below so guys let's get into this now don't forget this is pokemongohub.net this is not the official site for uh niantic or anything like that but usually pokemongohub.net when they mention things it's usually you know something that niantic is cooking up so anyhow legendary and mythical mass transfers so the warning uh basically pokemon underscore transfer underscore legendary this is the coding um text your selection contains legendary or mythical pokemon or are, are you sure you want to transfer the selected pokemon so now you can mass transfer uh, uh legendaries i know a lot of people want to mass transfer their pikachu their legendaries well that's already a thing now we can mass transfer that but uh they want to mass transfer legendaries mass transfer uh mythicals you know with terrible id not ids but ivs uh and i know a lot of people have been waiting for that but now it's not officially here yet but it is in the works as you can see this is the coding for it so it says could it be are we getting the ability to mass transfer legendary and mythical pokemon the answer is yes but again i'm just saying this because usually this is what's on this website it says you know take everything with a grain of salt but like i said normally when pokemongohub.net is uh mentioning this is usually coming from a place where Niantic is supporting this. So this is what Niantic is putting out. Uh, mystery box owners rejoice. No more transferring Meltan at once. So you can mass transfer uh, Meltan because Meltans are mythical Pokemon. So with that being said, let's jump into more of this video. All right, now that we finished talking about that, we're gonna start talking about the egg transparency, which is something that I know a lot of people want to know a lot about so such as myself so egg underscore transparency underscore available underscore pokemon text available pokemon so it looks like we're going to get some we're going to get some transparency on what hatches from eggs 
there's not much to go on at this point but there's a couple of ways they implement that they can implement this they could either put it in the today section on my personal hope they make it so we can long press on an egg and have it display what pokemon can hatch from a specific specific egg based on when it was picked up so this is what it's going to look like hopefully this is what it's going to look like so as you can see like i said on, on the screen it says available pokemon and 10 kilometer eggs so you have Shinx, Gibble, Riolu, Audino, um, I forgot the other one, but uh, Timber, and the rest of them. So, these are one of the Pokemon that can actually hatch in 10 kilometer eggs. So, I'm guessing they're going to show you these. Uh, so, if you click on a 10 kilometer eggs, this is what's going to pull up. And then this way you can have an idea. Even though we already know what comes out of 10 kilometer eggs, but people do forget. So this way it gives you an idea, but at the same time it's still a surprise of what comes out of that egg. Now as far as I'm letting you know whether it's going to be shiny or not, like I said, I don't know. But if it does it like this, I mean, you already know what Pokemon can be shiny. You know, you got Shinx, Gibble, Riolu, Timber, uh, Clink. You have Pharaoh Seed, you know, you have, um, I forgot the little name of that bird. But anyway, uh, that could be shiny. So, you know, this is something that can be really helpful uh with pokemon go and people hatching eggs and stuff like that so they can know whether or not to you know waste money on incubators because a lot of people are tired of hatching eggs and everything's being locked behind eggs and we don't know what even know what's inside but that's the whole surprise in pokemon go but at the same time you don't want to be feeling like you're wasting money giving your money to niantic when you don't know what's inside the egg but that's called gamble so and sometimes in life things are gamble uh are meant to gamble you know just as a surprise or whatever it is so but that's pretty much what might be coming to the world of pokemon go but like i said this is just, this is a gamble but at least you have an idea of what might be coming out of that egg now i don't know if they're gonna do it one by one meaning like so the 10 kilometer egg they might show you just a picture of just shinx or they might show you everything that can come out of a 10 kilometer egg and i mean some people already know what comes out of 10 kilometer eggs so if they do it that way it's still gonna be pretty much like we don't really know so if they show you like maybe like one or two pokemon three pokemon at best and they do it that way maybe it'll give us more of a hope of what's inside what could be in that what could be inside the egg before it actually hatches like say for instance okay you see these 10 kilometer uh eggs and uh you see these 10 kilometer pokemon but let's say they only display shanx gibble and riolu now all three can be shiny but it's gonna make you want to hatch that 10 kilometer egg because you know you can potentially hatch a shiny pokemon so i'm thinking they might do it like that if not then and they just showing what what can hatch from a 10 kilometer egg it's still not it's still gonna be pretty much the same because we already know well some people already know what can come out of a 10 kilometer egg rather than the first way i had said it so uh and that's what they might be doing with the rest of the eggs also so that's what they mean by transparency you can actually see before it actually hatches and this will be something good for the game especially with the you know what's going on right now with the pandemic uh so yeah this is basically what the new egg transparency might look like so let's jump into more of this video now this is something really small but uh poseidon uh they got some poseidon underscore passcore underscore title I'm not really sure what that is if you know what it is, let, let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, so it says the Pokemoners believe that Poseidon uh, had to do with some anti-addiction addictions to the game. But scanning activation codes don't jive with that theory very well. So we'll have to see what this is. Alright, so now for those of you that didn't already know about uh, the new clothes that's actually out. I made a video about this also. It's about the North Face and Gucci. So, uh, Niantic is partnered with these people, uh, you know, with these clothing lines, I should say, where you go to certain parts of the world and you spend Pokestops and you can get the items that way. But there's also another way that you, you can do it. You can actually um, go to the... There, there's a password I'm going to let you guys know. And uh, if you're on Android, you got to go to the shop and, add, and type in the, the code that I'm about to give you. Uh, and then if you're on iPhone, you have to go to Niantic's uh, website and actually put it in, in order to get these uh, clothes for your avatar. So you got avatar underscore backpack. Um, you got the Gucci backpack. You got the North Face X Gucci hat uh, avatar shirt, Gucci shirts, and all this other kind of stuff. Um, 
the North Face Gucci t-shirt also. So, the text for the North Face Gucci clothing was pushed as well. These are now live in the game and are available through a code that you can redeem in the game shop on Android or through the Niantic Rewards link here. So, I'll put that in the description below if you want to get this. Uh, I'm not sure if this... Um, this code is deactivated now like if, if, if it ended but you can still try it I'm a, i'll put it in the description below also uh but yeah it's gxsd5cj556nhg and i actually put this in so like again if you have android go to the shop in pokemon go you can type this in if you're on iphone you have to uh go to the link i'll put the link in the description you just go right there for the iphone and you click it and that's it about like i said i'll just put it just for the iphone because android all you have to do is go to the shop and just put the code in but i'll put the code also in the description also so you can you know check that out if you don't already have it now hopefully you'll you'll have it so uh yeah with that being said guys let's jump into the last part of the video before i wrap this video up so let's go all right trainers so before i wrap this video up this is gonna be the last part of the video so basically we're going to be talking about the new event that starts tomorrow so it starts tomorrow uh it's gonna last for a whole week and uh also remember that genesec raids is no longer going to be uh after today um because heat ran raids actually starts tomorrow uh with this event so this is the countdown to pokemon go tour cancel celebrate the central region with us so we're going to be doing from this hoenn just like we did the Unova region before. Some people say that uh, Sinnoh came before you, uh, the Unova region, which is true. But this is how Niantic has it, so so be it. <laughs> it's an event, so just worry about that, <laughs> you know. But anyway, so we're going to get into what this has to entail, which most of you already know. But if you don't know this, or as a refresher course, this is what it pertains. All right, so it says, trainers, as we approach Pokemon Go Tour Kanto, we'll be spending some time highlighting other regions in the world of Pokemon. We've already shared the, our plans for the Universe Celebration event, which, eh, it was, it was, that wasn't that big for me. I, I didn't really care for it, except for Shiny Snivy. I guess that was cool. And then you had Shiny Feral Seed, which is a really rare and hard one, hard shiny to actually get, let me say that. Uh, so... And today, we're excited to announce the Sinnoh will be the next region featured in our countdown celebration. Again, like I said before, it starts tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. And it ends Sunday, January 7th, 2021 at 8 p.m. local time, just like the Unified event. Uh, that's for five days. And, uh, yeah, so here are the features. All right, so the features is you'll see increased spawns of Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, which, by the way, can all be shiny. Bidoof, Cranido, Shieldon cannot be shiny. Combi, Weasel, Drifloon. Combi can't be shiny. Uh, Weasel, Drifloon can be shiny. Glammeow can be shiny. Perugly uh, can only be shiny for Glammeow. Hippopotas can be shiny. Don't forget it has male and female versions, so that'd be pretty cool shiny to get. The female version is what I'm gunning for because that shiny is great. That dark green looks like green sludge or whatever. Anyway, Skoruppy. Now, Skoruppy is a really cool shiny. I actually have that shiny. I just need shiny Drapion. So, I know a lot of people are going to try to gun for that one. I'm going to try to gun for it also. So, like I said, so I'll get that shiny Drapion. Even though Skoruppy looks way better in its shiny than shiny Drapion. Because it looks like the original Drapion. And Snover will be, will be appearing more frequently in the wild. Here's the thing, though, about Snover. Because Snover, we had him for a spotlight hour. And we had him for the Unova region. Um spawn so if you haven't gotten your shiny snowbird you probably will be getting one from here because this is another chance to get shiny snowbird uh and if you're lucky you might encounter a shiny buizel now this would have been dope because i remember we had spotlight hour for buizel just last year the end of last year sometime during the fall and uh yeah i participated and just see if i can get the hundo because i knew then it couldn't be shiny but this would have been cool if they had waited to get the spotlight hour now but it is what it is. Weasel can finally be shiny out in the wild and in raids and everything else that they gonna be in or whatever. But yeah, shiny Weasel and shiny Floatzel. So the following Pokemon will be hatching from eggs, from five kilometer eggs. Cricketot can be shiny, Badoo can be shiny. Cranidos, Shildon, Bronzor can be shiny. Bonsly can be shiny. I actually hatched that shiny Bonsly. I still need shiny Sudowoodo. And uh, hopefully Mystic Seven can hatch that shiny 
uh, Bonsley, because uh, he does have shiny Sudowoodo. I have the reverse uh, counter. Like, I have the shiny Bonsley, like I mentioned. He has shiny Sudowoodo. He needs what I have, and I need what he has, believe it or not. Um, Hebo Batas can be shiny. Remember, it has the female male version. And Krogon can be shiny. Uh, enjoy event exclusive field research task. That, so most of these Pokemon can be shiny. So this is a ton of hype to take advantage of. There's more shinies than than even the Unova event. So this is pretty dope. Um, so uh, enjoy event exclusive field research task that reward Stardust and lead to encounters with Pokemon such as Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Cranidos, Shilden, and Buizel. So you can get Buizel from uh, research. And you can get them from, no, just from the uh, exclusive fill research. Um, you can also get Weasel out in the wild. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's the new shiny. So uh, the following Pokemon will be, be appearing in Raid. So Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup can be shiny. Shinx can be shiny. I need one more shiny Shinx to get shiny Luxray. Weasel can be shiny, so that will be in Raid. And I know a lot of people are looking for that shiny Gibble, and a lot of people are gonna be wanting to do them shiny, uh, gonna be doing them Gibble raids. Now it might be kind of hard to find Gibble raids because that's what Niantic's known to do, kind of hide the, you know, like they, they don't put increased spawns. Of, I'm not saying it's supposed to be increased spawns, but it's still supposed to be kind of like challenging, and that's the whole point. Uh, and Gibble will be appearing in one star raids, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's an easy way for people to get those remote raid passes, so and I can continue to make it on that money. But this event is worth it because there's a lot of shinies that can be up here, uh, a lot that and a lot of good shinies too, like Shinx, the new po shiny, which is Weasel, uh, Gibble. You have a lot of them, so yeah, this is worth the money. Uh, some people have it, some people don't. If you don't, you can just use your coins. You all know know the drill by now. Uh, Lopini. Hip Powdon, Toxicroak, and Luminium will be appearing in three-star raids. I'm sure pretty much everybody who's been playing since 2016 when the game first came out already have these Pokemon. If you're just starting or coming back, I'm sure you'll probably raid this. Um, but you can still uh, you can still solo it by yourself. Uh, also, Heatran will be appearing, like I said, in five-star raids. So it can be shiny, which, I mean, I'll raid with people because... I'll help them out, but I already have the Shundo, so I really don't need it. Uh, and by Shundo, I mean separately, not as one Pokemon. I have uh, the Shiny Heatran, and I have the Hundo Heatran. So, it's no point in me even raiding, but if anybody needs help, I'll, you know, just send me your code or whatever it is, and, you know, I'll help you out. Uh, Mega Charizard Y, Mega Blastoise, and Mega Abomasaur will be appearing in raids, in Mega Raids. And complete the Sinnoh theme collection challenge, like I mentioned earlier uh, in the video, that because this is what Niantic does now, so you can earn bonuses before you actually part in the event. Now, like I said, complete the Sinnoh theme collection challenge during the event by catching Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, Cranios, Shilden, Combi, Weasel, Shadow Stunky, and Shadow Snover to receive Stardust, a Magnetic Lure, 15 Ultra Balls, which is pretty dope, and head on over to the today view to track your progress so yeah if you gotta spend money on like incubators or whatever this this event is worth it it's really worth it it's really worth it. you get 15 ultra balls you get you know shiny gibble not guaranteed of course but you know it's more shinies than it was in the unit event um and then so yeah so head on over to uh to the today view to track your progress up next is the hoenn and then it's an event celebration the Hoenn region will be happening from Tuesday, January 19th, which is uh, the following week, to Sunday, January 24th. And it's going to lead up basically into the Kanto Tour, which is why it's called what it's called. Uh, stay tuned for more details as we get closer to the date. And please be aware of your surroundings and you know all the rest of that the Pokemon Go team. So, guys, uh, this has been over 30 minutes. I uh, hope you guys can watch all of this, even if you have to, like, you know, sum it up or whatever it is but uh yeah I, I try to get everything out there because i haven't been really uploading like i said i've been having problems uh you know some of my stuff got deleted so i had to redo it and everything like that so hopefully my vid videos will be shorter uh in the next video but any guy anyway guys uh trainers if you like this video make sure you go ahead and like comment sub share this video wherever you share cool stuff comment down below smack a like on this video Turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my latest videos. Make sure you go ahead and crush the notification bell so you be the first to get, so you be the first to get my videos when I upload. 
And, uh, and as always, guys, peace and love. Stay blessed. Stay humble. Keep your head up. And, uh, yeah, remember to keep God first because God is number one. And remember to enjoy your 2021. Hopefully things get a lot better this year. And uh, I'm out.